welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jacqueline and I make new videos every week, a whole variety of things, lifestyle, beauty, adventure, all sorts of fun stuff. And I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. And today I have a little chat to get ready with me. I have to film another video after this. So I figured I would just sit down and talk to you guys. I haven't done it in a while. It is currently snowing outside. So welcome to my snow day, get ready with me. Um, it's been snowing since last night. I'll insert some snow footage here. But um, yeah, I mean, this is the most snow I think we've had since we've been in Colorado. Um, and it's still coming down. So good day to stay inside, drink some coffee. I made a little peppermint mocha for myself because that's my favorite winter coffee drink. Um, and I'm just gonna put some makeup on, get ready to film. And then I'll do my hair and get changed and stuff and show you the whole final look. But uh, let's just dive right in. Everything that I'm talking about, I will leave links to down below. And if you're curious what's already on my face, my skincare for the morning, I will leave my morning routine up in the corner and down below in case you're curious about what's already on my skin before we start. So let's just start with some primer. I'm actually gonna use two primers today. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Master Prime. This is just one of my favorites. This is the um, blur and redness control. And I'm also just gonna use a little bit of the Porefessional um, in like a few spots. But yeah, I mean, the snow here is beautiful. Let's just start right there for conversation. Um, I'm, I don't love the snow, it's not my favorite, but I think it depends on where you are. Like when we were living in Washington, I really did not want it to snow where we lived in Tacoma because that was like one of the appeals of being in Tacoma was that it was never going to snow. The weather was always warm enough that it would just rain. So when it did snow, it was kind of like, ugh, this is not supposed to be happening. Um, but in Colorado, it's beautiful. And it's also so sunny the next day that it doesn't last very long. So it doesn't get a chance to get to like that gray kind of gross snow that you get like if you live in the Midwest. Uh, I grew up in Ohio and um, if you grew up in those kind of areas, you know what I'm talking about where it sits on the ground forever because it's just so cold and it just, it doesn't get sunny. So it's gray. It doesn't melt the snow. And so there's just like, just gray, nasty snow everywhere. And so gross and ugh. But in Colorado, it doesn't do that. So it's just like so, so pretty. Um, so I'm actually loving it. Matt actually went into work for a little bit this morning, which I thought was insane, but you know, to each their own, let me grab a towel. But I decided just to stay at home, didn't go to the gym, I just used our spin bike. Um, I'll leave a link to our new spin bike down below, but I have been loving that. Um, I'm going to use my CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skin Milk as my base. I love this stuff, I'm just going to use my hands to apply it. It goes on so, so nicely. I talked about this recently in my foundations video which I'll also leave up in the corner down below and this has just like quickly become one of my favorite base products it's just so beautiful it's really lightweight and kind of like sheer light coverage so if you you know are more of a full coverage kind of person you might not like this but if you love a good sheer coverage kind of beauty cream this is a great one um but anyway, back to our spin bike. I have been loving our new spin bike. So we bought a Schwinn back right before or after New Year's. I can't remember. But um, sometime around the New Year, we bought a, a spin bike from Schwinn. I'll leave the exact one down below, like I said. Um, and then we've been trying, well, mostly me. Matt hasn't really been trying it, but I have. Matt's tried a few classes, but I have been loving the new Apple Fitness Plus app. So if you have an iPhone or an iPad and an Apple Watch with the newest iOS, you can use Apple Fitness Plus and they have all sorts of things. Um, it's free for like a month, I think. And then beyond that, it's $10 a month or $80 a year, which I thought was a real good price. So um, I've been taking spin classes on there and they are amazing so much fun such a good workout great instructors they're some of the best spin classes i've ever taken um and i love to spin so 
they're just so much fun and it's so easy at home they come in all different lengths they come between 10 and 45 minutes and you can kind of like filter through to see like the 10 minute ones the 20 minute ones the 30 minute ones or the 45 minute ones so it makes it really easy to find a workout um and they have more than just spin classes they have like everything i'm gonna have some coffee they have um treadmill ones they, i think they have rowing ones i know they have core ones strength ones cool downs for after your workouts, yoga, all sorts of stuff. It's pretty amazing. I've been loving it. And I think we're definitely going to get a yearly subscription once our 30 days is up because we just love it. Um, so for concealer, I'm going to use my Maybelline Anderson Age Rewind. Love this stuff. I always use it. So I'm going to use it everywhere. This and the Skin Milk is like a great combo for me. They just work really well together, I think. Um... And like I said, it doesn't cover everything, but I feel like it covers enough that like I'm good with like the amount of coverage these two things give me. I don't like a lot of coverage anyway. I'm okay with my my imperfections or, you know, whatever you want to call them. Um, you know, they're part of me. But yeah, I've been loving the Fitness Plus app. I like, I use it all the time. Um, until recently, the gyms on base which if you guys don't know, my husband is in the military. Um, so I go to the gym on the military installation we live near um, and that he works on. Um, but the gyms on base until recently uh, did not have any cardio equipment available and could only lift weights at the gym. Um, so I had to figure out a way to do some cardio in my life. Um, so that's the reason we bought the Schwimm bike really was so I could work out at home and do some cardio at home. Um, they recently did reopen cardio at base, but honestly, I like my bike so much better than like an exercise bike because we bought like a traditional spin bike um, and it's amazing. Um, so what I typically do for workouts, I talked about this again in my morning routine, is that I will go onto base and lift, do my weight training, my no strength training. And then I'll come home and do like a 20, 30 minute spin class. And it's just like perfect. It works so well. Um, like if I do a really heavy leg day, I can just do like a 10 minute class if I want, but it's really like a great, just a great thing to have in our house. And I'm so excited we bought it. It wasn't that expensive. It was right around $600. Um, so like compared to a Peloton, it's a lot cheaper. Um, if you do want to take Peloton classes though, the Schwinn bike like sensor doesn't have watts on it. And I know Peloton like tracks watts, which I don't really like. I prefer to track RPMs anyway. Um, so the Schwinn and Apple Fitness works really well for me because they mostly go through RPMs and then like your exertion levels, which is what I like to do. So it really works for me. I think it's like a personal thing, but I really like it. Uh, for my powder, I'm going to use my e.l.f. Prime and Stay Finishing Powder. The label's all worn off, and I've actually hit pan on this, which is, like, super rare for me. So I'm, like, really excited about this. But I love this powder. It's really finely milled and just works really well to kind of just give you a light layer of powder. Um, But, yeah, if you're looking for, like, good online classes and you have an Apple Watch, I think it's a really good app, and it's a lot cheaper than most of, like, um, the fitness apps out there and they're always uploading new classes. I feel like once a week, like each category gets a few, at least a few new, uh, classes and there's already a good like amount on there. So I just, I don't know. I've been really enjoying it. Um, I think it works really well and I've just, yeah, that's what I've been doing for my workout and I've just been feeling good about it. So want to share that with you. Um, what else did I want to talk about? Oh, my New Year's goals. Let's talk about my New Year's goals for a little bit. They're going pretty well. Y'all have been really coming through with the helping me reach my 1,000 subscriber goal, which I want to thank you for so much. Like, thank you guys for subscribing. It really means a ton to me. You don't even know. Um, for my blush and bronzer, I'm going to use my Cover FX Monochromatic Duos. Um, I have for the bronzer, I have Suntan. And then for the blush, I have Warm Honey. You guys have seen me use these a ton because they're the best. I'm just obsessed with them. Um, but seriously, thank you guys so much 
for subscribing and supporting my channel. It really does mean a lot to me. Um, I work really hard on these videos. Um, I also just enjoy making them so much. So it's nice to know that, you know, there are people out there watching and enjoying as well. And subscribing helps me know that. So I really, really appreciate that. Um, for my other goals, I'm doing pretty good. The journaling took a little backseat when I had family in town. And so did my health and fitness goals. Um, but I was reminded again when they were here of why I avoid gluten. I had the worst stomach ache and uh, stomach pain because I had a little bit of gluten in one of our meals and it just destroyed my stomach and I was not a happy camper one morning. <laughs> um, so it was a good reminder of why I avoid those things. But it was also a good reminder why I like to stay active. Um, it just makes me feel better um, mentally, physically, everything. I noticed when we dropped our my family off at the airport, I just really needed some like alone time and some fitness time. Um, it just, I needed that me time. And part of my me time is going to the gym and working out. That's just how I like to spend my me time and not being able to do that for like a week was really, really rough for me. And I just it really put it in perspective. Um, and I think the journaling is part of that too. I didn't journal as much as I should have while they were here. Um, so it's just one of those things that like, it really put my New Year's goals in perspective and helped me, um, you know, see that I chose the right goals and that working on those things is really gonna help my mental and physical health. That's a little bit too much blush. This blush can be a little bit intense. So I just take a powder brush when that happens and just kind of press it out. It helps. Um, the sitting straighter has also been hard on me. I didn't realize how much I slouch. <laughs> So, you know, that's something. I'm going to use my e.l.f. baked highlighter. This is Moonlight Pearls. I love this highlighter. I'm also going to take it all over my eyelid, kind of as like a base. Um, um, I don't remember. But, yeah, definitely. It's been an interesting January. I was talking to uh, Matt and I think my mom that, like, our January hasn't really felt, like, super cohesive. I feel like we've had a ton of time off and, like... It doesn't feel like a, we're back to normal in terms of like our schedules yet. Just because we had family in town and you know other things and I just feel like we haven't had like a full week of like normalcy in January. So I feel like it was like a weird start to the new year for us. So hopefully you know this week is the last week of January, and I think we're actually going to have a semi-normal week, except for this snowstorm. Um, snowstorm kind of threw a wrench in it, but, um, you know, for me, my routine really helps, and it's just been kind of thrown off a little bit in January, so hopefully, you know, we will get back to it now. Um, but... Yeah, it is what it is. I'm really glad we could we were able to see our family. Just definitely threw a little wrench in our in our January. Okay, so for eyeshadow, I'm just gonna use my bronzer again and just take I think I'm just gonna take both of them to be honest and just kind of mix them like I do when it goes on my face. I'm just gonna throw that in the crease. This is kind of a look I've been doing a lot recently. Just something really simple and straightforward, but it really makes my blue eyes pop and it just uh yeah, it's just easy and simple and I know it's gonna look good. Um, oh, the other thing I wanna talk about, I remembered. I knew there was something else I wanted to talk about in here is my vlogging, especially when we're like out and about and uh, when we are like, we're traveling to Vail and stuff. I know I touched on it a little bit in my last vlog, but I just have been finding it really hard to vlog when we're out because it just feels like, It just feels harder in the pandemic. It just feels like maybe inappropriate is not the right word, right word, but just feels like wrong in some way in my mind that like we're out. I mean, we're being careful and we're social distancing. We're wearing our masks and, you know, we're not staying in places for super long. 
but for some reason it just still feels wrong to vlog about it. And so I've just been kind of avoiding vlogging for some reason. And I don't know why. I'm hoping I can kind of change my um my perspective and my mindset on that and go back to vlogging a little bit more. But that's really our last couple trips to Vail. We I haven't really vlogged that much. It's just been like hard for me for some reason mentally to like get back into it. So hopefully that will change. I'm just gonna take a like liner brush and kind of just get the matte shade and go under my uh my under. My waterline? I don't know what I was trying to say. My bottom lash line. That's what I was trying to say. Um, yeah, so hopefully, you know, when we're like out and about, I'll get back to feeling more comfortable vlogging. I think that's the other thing. I haven't like vlogged outside of our house in so long that I almost feel like uncomfortable again, like when I first started vlogging, which is silly, but I don't know. Um, and then I'm just going to pop some of my L'Oreal Infallible Amber Rush right on my lid. Just kind of all over the lid. This stuff's amazing. I love this stuff. I noticed you can't really find it at, like, Target or anything anymore, but you can still find it at, like, Walgreens online and, like, L'Oreal online. So I don't know what's happening with this stuff, but it is amazing. So if you can find it somewhere, this stuff is amazing. And it's just, like, a really beautiful pop on the lid. This is totally my kind of color. The Ember Rush is like my perfect shade. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Vlogging has just been a little bit hard for me. Hopefully I can bounce back from this feeling and get back into vlogging because I really enjoy it. Um, it's a good, it's just like good kind of like family history sort of thing. Like a good um, like family video. I'm just going to take a brush and just kind of blend those edges just a little bit. Um... So, yeah, hopefully it's just, like, a temporary thing and I'll get back into the swing of it. Um, I'm going to pop my NYX eyebrow pencil, powder pencil, in my brows. Um, yeah, I'm really trying hard to, you know, get back into it and feel comfortable again. It's just going to, I think, take some time. So, hopefully, I know my vlogs have been kind of disjointed, but I'm going to, I'm really trying to focus on them right now. Um, I think that's something else that we'll come back with when, you know, uh, we have a little bit more normal of a schedule and we're doing more normal things. Hopefully that will help me feel more normal in vlogging as well. So that's kind of my goal with the vlogs and stuff because I do enjoy making them, like I said, just like I enjoy making all my videos. And I really feel like here in Colorado we have... A little bit fewer restrictions the response has been a little bit better so I feel like we have more opportunities to like get out and do things even just like outside Augusta obviously that's a whole different story and like we couldn't there's nothing really to do in Augusta so I didn't have a lot to vlog about except you know being in our house but in Colorado you know there's hikes and stuff everywhere so hopefully you know we'll get back into it um but we will see. I just wanted to like address that in case you were curious what was going on with the vlogs. It's just kind of like been a crazy time. Let me grab some setting spray. All right, I'm just gonna use some all nighter for my setting spray. This is like one of the few setting sprays I have right now. Um, maybe I'll go out and get some more eventually, but for now, I love my all nighter, so it works. I feel like people have like stopped talking about all nighter. I love all nighter. I don't know. It just works really well. Um, I'm gonna have a sip of coffee while this is drying down. For my eyebrows, I'm just gonna use my Essence Make Me Brow. I haven't used this in forever either, which is weird because I love this stuff. Sorry, I'm watching cars go down our street and like struggling to get up their driveway and stuff. It's funny. Um, it's not funny. People like should just stay home, but um, but yeah, we've been loving Colorado, and I'm like excited now that restrictions here are kind of lifting a little bit. I mean, it's not crazy anymore. So like I said, we're still being careful and stuff and you know, all that stuff. But like I said, Colorado's had a pretty good COVID response. So I feel like it's pretty good around here. Um, so I'm excited to keep exploring and stuff. And Matt has promised me that he would not go snowboarding every weekend so he could go on hikes every now and then. <laughs> 
So there's that. Um, for my mascara, I'm going to use my L'Oreal Voluminous. Love this stuff. I'm probably not going to talk because um, for some reason I have to concentrate really hard when I do mascara. It also gets all over the place. All right, the last thing I want to ask you guys, let me make sure this is the color. That should be a good color. It's not gonna be super dark. Last thing I kind of asked you guys about was what do you want to see for February? I've been thinking of February videos. Um, I have a pretty good vlog list. Um, but if you have any suggestions or things you definitely want to see, let me know. Um, I love to hear from you guys, so, you know, please leave me a comment and let me know what you're kind of feeling right now, what you want to see. Oh, that was, by the way, the Clinique Chubby Stick in Chunkiest Chili. I hate the name, but that's a pretty color. And I'm just going to add a little bit of my um, Fresh Rose uh, Lip Cream stuff on top, just because the color's a little bit intense yep so leave me a comment let me know what you want to see and all that fun stuff um i'm gonna clean up this stuff go do my hair put on my clothes for the day and i'll be back to end this video okay so i just diffused my hair this is my natural hair texture in case you were curious it's very curly um, if you want a curly hair tutorial, let me know. Um, but yeah, I just curled my hair a little bit. And then this sweater is from Target, in case you're curious. It is so cozy and warm. I love it. I will see if I can find it and link it down below along with everything else. Um, but yeah, thank you for getting ready with me today and having a little chit chat. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and help me reach my 1,000 subscriber goal for the year by subscribing to our little adventure family. We would love to have you. And yeah, I think that's it for this video. So I'll see you in my next adventure. Bye.